Mr. Herb Schreiner from Indiana, who is in television. Yeah. And Mr. Fred Allen, an unemployed gentleman from Boston. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out something about you, gentlemen. Mr. Schreiner, you say you're from Indiana. Whereabouts? Well, the whole thing. <laughs> uh, exactly whereabouts? Well, it's a, it's a small town, uh, Walter. It's uh, not on the uh, map. It's not on the map? No, uh, it's, uh, it's between two towns that are on the map, though. <laughs> I must drop in sometime when I'm passing through. Uh, what do you have there in the town? Anything exciting, Mr. Schreiner? Oh, nothing much. I mean, there's, uh, there's, uh, well, there's nothing, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> well, well, give us an uh, example of the best nothing you have. Well, it's uh, just, it's just that there's a lot of it and we all get in on it. I'm going to... Now, gentlemen, it's time we got to play the game here. Good. And uh, you get five dollars for each. Which one of you wants to lead off? Well, I'll start uh, first. I'm older and I may not be around as long. As I... <laughs> well, here's your first question, and I want to have you listen very carefully, gentlemen. There are many different letters of the alphabet in alphabet soup, uh -huh. but they're all jumbled up. Yeah. Now, for five dollars an answer, I want you to give me as many as you can remember of the letters of the alphabet. But here's the catch. They must be in correct alphabetical order. Ready? Oh, Can we hear well, the yeah. question? Do you understand the question? question. <laughs> <laughs> to me. Yeah, uh, in correct answer. alphabetical order. This climate, which was gradually, I think it was ruining our girls. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them that was lucky enough to get ruined anyways. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, these girls, uh, it was nothing that you'd notice either. It was a very odd thing. I don't know, I think the climate was making these girls thin. <laughs> and uh, they wouldn't uh, die or anything like that. They were just kind of ugly away. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> well, I'll give you an idea of what was happening there. We had a beauty contest last summer, and nobody won it. <laughs> yeah, sure does smell good. I don't think that's sea air. I think one of the stagehands is eating a sardine sandwich back there. <laughs> It's written by another fella, anyways. It's uh, by Eugene Fields. Oh, he's a real poet. Oh, he's a real, he goes all the way. This poem here. Letters of Wotan, ruler of the gods. They are called Valkyries. They ride on horses through the air, scooping up the soldiers and putting them across their saddles. We had some guys like that in the army. We called them MPs. Anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody send a wire to Red Skelton. <laughs> Red, what, what you doing there? I'm just rehearsing. Oh, something for the show? Or oh, something for after the show. <laughs> well, uh... Red, Red, we thought we'd just look in on you tonight and kind of wish you luck. You know, it's your first show and it's only 20 minutes before you go on the air. And uh, are you nervous? Well, um, I'll see you later. I'm a little nervous, you know. Uh, always before the show, uh, I think all performers are. But as soon as the old minute hand gets around to showtime and the director gives you the, the finger point and saying you're on, oh, you just step right up in front of the camera and you're... It's a thrill for you to kind of uh, let your hair down and play with the orchestra and, and a whole big group like this. Isn't it fun? Well, it really is, Herbie. I certainly like it. Enjoy it, huh? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a terrific band. Would you mind if they took a bow and just kind of stood Oh, up? I'd appreciate it. Would you take a little bow, boy? <laughs> I lost a pair of blue pants, and I thought maybe some of these fellows might have. <laughs> 
I can. I, I really envy you. It must be a thrill, though, to have all those fellows just sort of obeying your every command. I mean, it'd be a kind of a thrill for me to play something like that on a harmonica with an orchestra like that someday. Well, Herbie, right? if you'd like to go to roll up here, why don't you use them? Can we do that? Why, got, certainly. You got a little time left on the tuxedo? Sure. Got them right. until 12 midnight. Well, and I got a number tonight, which uh, I've been practicing on it, and I haven't had any requests uh, for this number, but I'd like to hear it myself pretty bad. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.